One of the most fundamental things we'd like to do with our Arduino projects is to have the date and time available. Just a little clock set up here, the time and date being read from this real-time clock module. In this tutorial, we're looking at lesson 19 from the Eligu Most Complete Starter Kit covering the real-time clock. As it says here, it's a real-time clock, which is a low power requirement. The address and data transferred serially through, and this is pronounced I squared C bus. This doesn't make much sense. Three data cables. In fact, we're actually only using two down here, the SCL and SDA. The other one is not required. The module will output seconds, minutes, hours, day, date, month, and year. That is stored in the device and backed up with a little coin cell on the board itself. So very neat and very easy to set up. Here we can see it uses the crystal of 32.768 kilohertz. Now at first you might think that's a rather odd number, but in fact it's an even number. It's divisible by two and if you divide it down 15 times you get a one second pulse. You will find many of these so-called quartz clock modules available. If we take one apart, we can see the little crystal is this cylinder at the top here. And once that's been divided down, it goes through a little transistor amplifier and sends a pulse through this solenoid, which drives the gears. If we power it up now, there you can see the little gear wheel turning round, being pulsed once a second. This particular clock module also has another circuit to swing a pendulum and I've used these mechanisms to, uh, to great effect. Going back now to our Eligu example, we can see that it's a very simple configuration, just the 5 volts VCC and ground, and the SDA and SCL, which go to the corresponding SDA and SCL on the Arduino. And that's what it looks like. And here we can see it in reality. Looking now at the accompanying sketch, we can see that there's a library which must be included. So remember how to do that from the, the first lessons. Include that library in your Arduino and all will be good. The setup just sets up the serial monitor, prints out, initialize the real-time clock module. It sets the date and time and in the loop, not surprisingly, all it does is to get from the clock module uh, the date and time and prints it out for us, followed by a delay of one second. Here we can see the module in close-up with the backup battery and the little crystal there uh, identified as Y1 on the circuit and the RTC chip itself. Nothing else to see there. Moving back to the sketch and looking at the serial monitor, we can see the initialization there and it printing out the, the date and time. So very simple indeed. 